Now these tips are not going to be skill based, they're not map based, they're just general useful tips which I'm super confident that at least one or two will help you out. But before we go into it, here's my sponsor Skins Monkey. It's an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7, you can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins monkey. Tip number one, forget blindly spraying and praying. There's this feature exclusively to CS2 called follow recoil, which is actually kind of underrated. I used it for four months. It's perfect for anyone struggling with spray patterns, but it's kind of sucky with pistols. There are scripts out there to help you only enable it with certain weapons. So that's probably what I would go with if I still used it today. In any case, I still think it's worth trying out. You might like it more than you would be willing to admit. Tip number two, cs2browser.com. This little bad boy browser fixes fake duplicate servers and you actually have good filters. Also, thanks to me, yes, me, I suggested to the dev to make it work together with the Steam overlay. That's right, so if you're like me and you want to avoid using the shitty Steam server browser, you can go to cs2browser.com, select your region, select the game modes you want to play, then copy the link and use that as your default page for Steam's overlay. Also, I am not affiliated with CS2 browser, and the same goes for my next tip. Tip number three, csgonades.com. This one is great because not only does it have a lot of lineups, it also presents you with their starting locations. So for example, if I wanna throw a smoke for CT, but I wanna do it from T ramp, I can then choose ramp, which saves me a ton of time. Then I can simply pick the one I like the most. And just like the previous tip, you could use this as your Steam's overlay default page for easy access in the middle of the game. Tip number four, Vice's GG, an extension for Chrome and Firefox. Now this one is a self promo since I made it together with with epic fail and it's basically two things. One, it displays the user's face it account on their Steam profile and two, it allows you to see win rate percentage during the face it match lobby. Might seem super biased here but I personally find this extension useful for checking suspicious accounts or just to get a better idea of what the other team might be good at. Tip number five. This one is going to blow your minds, but if you ever end up playing a demo and you're free roaming, go close to a player, hit space, and the camera will change to that player's POV. That's right, closest player will be selected, so that should save you some hassle during your demo reviews. Tip number six, choose casual mode for practice. With competitive, you risk clicking on this option, which will haunt you in your nightmares, and you have to look at the Team Splash intro animation each time you're doing a round restart because it's competitive. Casual mode is just choose a map, enable everything, and now you can practice is that one smoke you found through Nardout's video. Tip number seven. This is the biggest stretch from the list, but I still have to show you this amazing command in the game, which is exactly what you might expect, system info. So whenever you're stuck with your clueless friend who knows nothing about computers, just tell them to type sys info into Counter-Strike out of all places, and now they can read their PC specs out loud without even minimizing the game. Tip number eight, do you have mic issues in CS2? Or better yet, are you not even sure if you have mic issues in CS2? The best way to troubleshoot it is to use voice loopback one. This allows you to hear yourself in game. Perfect for figuring out what the problem might be. To add to this command, right click on the volume icon, sounds, recordings tab, double click the microphone you're using, go to advanced and untick, allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. Next, go to levels and double check the microphone volume. Thank me later. Tip number nine. CSStats.gg. To cosplay as a CS2 cheater detective, this is the website I use. You can easily browse through the All Matches tab and find sus games every 15 minutes, and the latest games allow you to download demos so you can watch them yourself. Another very useful feature is checking someone's profile and going through their past matches to discover the painful truth. Now this website is actually for tracking matches in general, and again I am not affiliated in any way, but I personally use it to complain and feel better about myself. Because because with this tip, it perfectly transitions to tip number 10. If you want to play Premiere to reach the highest rating, don't. I played over 140 matches with not a single blatant cheater. I honestly thought I was protected by high trust factor. Then, once I reached above 21k rating, everything changed. More and more players like this started appearing in our games. Now at 22k, there's at least one or two closet cheaters every night, and they're always on the games we lose preventing us from reaching a higher rating. I can only imagine how bad it is at even higher rating, so sadly I cannot recommend Premiere right now until Valve does something about it. That was the list. Thank you for watching. Any other tips are welcome. Please like the video and if you watched it until the end, type banana in the comment section so I know you're the realist. Peace.
Okay, I'm cheating. 